Hello, awesome admins. Welcome to day five of the Admin Lightning Challenge. So today in this video, I'm gonna share with you our lucky daily recipient of some awesome admin swag. Each day we're selecting someone randomly who's sharing their solution to receive a cool awesome admin swag pack. And also I'm gonna share my solution for the day four challenge and get into what our day five challenge is. So let's get started. Our day four challenge recipient is going to receive an awesome admin t-shirt so they can share their awesome admin pride everywhere they are. And as you're making admin friends, maybe you wanna have a admin picnic. So we have our cool um, collapsible picnic blanket here that comes with a handy little carabiner. You can carry it around with you in your backpack. So you're always ready to hang out with your fellow awesome admins. So who's our lucky winner? Naraja. Naraja shared her solution for a day four challenge in the success community. So thank you so much for participating, Naraja, and I really look forward to seeing your future solutions to all of our daily lightning challenges on the success community. And what was our day four challenge? Our day four challenge was to convert a classic app to lightning. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I did that in my Salesforce environment. And then I'll share with you the day five challenge. So I am in my lightning setup page here. And in lightning setup, I can navigate to platform tools and my app manager. Your app manager is where likely as admins, you might be spending a lot of time making sure that all of your apps have all of the items that you want them to have for your users and it's where you can check and see which apps are visible on Lightning and which apps have been upgraded to Lightning. Because I can see I have my classic apps that are visible on Lightning because your classic apps do work in Lightning, but I can also see those apps that have converted to Lightning in order to take advantage of all of the new Lightning features. One of my favorite apps is my Volunteer Force app. This is a custom app I created for my end users to discover and sign up for volunteer events. So I really wanna make sure this is available for my Lightning users. It's in Classic now, and it's not even visible in Lightning, so we need to change that. In my dropdown on this app, on my app manager, I have the option to upgrade, edit, or delete. I'm going to upgrade this app because with upgrading, I can create a copy of it for Lightning, which means that I can continue to work on this app and fine tune it for my Lightning users, but I'm not impacting the experience for my Classic users who are still using the Classic version of this app. The app name is defaulted to Volunteer Force Lightning. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it there. Um, it does automatically just append the app name with Lightning, so you know which app is which. So I clicked OK, and now I have a brand new app. I've got my Volunteer Force Lightning app. I can see that it is a Lightning app versus a classic app, and it's visible on Lightning. That's awesome, but I wanna do more. I wanna make this really usable, and I wanna take advantage of some of the fun features in Lightning that help my end users. So now on that Visual Force or Volunteer Force Lightning app, I'm going to select Edit. And I have my Edit app page. So here's where I have my names. So I'm actually just gonna make my app name Volunteer Force for now because it is available in Lightning. The old app is not available in Lightning. So I wanna make it as clear as possible for my users that they're in the right place. So we're gonna call it Volunteer Force Manage We'll say it's our app to manage volunteering events and sign up. Now, as I'm making these changes, notice that I've got my app launcher preview here. And what this is showing me is the changes that are being made and how they'll be reflected in the app launcher for my end users. So I can see my description's been added. I also want to add a logo. So I just selected upload here in my image under app branding and I selected a GIF because I think they're really fun and they draw attention to this app and it is a volunteering app, so I've got my nice heart here for our nonprofit app. I'm also gonna change the primary color of this app. It is defaulted to blue, but and I can just put in my hex if I want or my RGB, but I'm gonna go ahead and just manually pick one that seems pretty close to the purple that I'm working with as a background. It's not an exact match, but it's close enough for now. So I've got my color selected, I've got my description, my name, my image, that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. 
while I'm here, if I want, I can also take a look at what items are available in this app. So I do have all of my standard and custom tabs that were available in the classic app, but I do want to add one of my cool lightning tabs that I turned on when I enabled lightning, um, just so that users of this app also can read news relevant to the nonprofits and volunteering organizations that my company works with. So I've added news. I'm going to go ahead and click save and done. So now I have my edited app. It's still in my app manager, but of course we're good admins. We want to check our end user experience. So I'm going to go to my app launcher, which is my waffle here in the top left. There we go. And I can see I'm in the call center app right now, but I have access now to my volunteer force app and I see my new logo. I'm also going to bring this front and center, make sure everyone knows that it's there. And so I've edited where it is on the page here in my app launcher, and I'm going to go ahead and click right into it and take a look at that branding. So now I'm in my brand new volunteer force app and I can see my bright, my nice bright purple here as my branding colors. So I always will know what app I'm in. I have my logo here and I can toggle between all of these different standard and custom objects that make up my app. And I can even take advantage of cool new lightning features like creating a new volunteering event directly from the navigation bar. So that is how I converted my classic app to lightning. Let's talk about day five. Our day five challenge is to customize a standard or record page using standard lightning components. So I love our standard lightning component selection and I look forward to seeing how you customize your lightning pages using standard lightning components. A few of my favorite components to work with are the tabs component and creating custom tabs and using tabs in order to really maximize the real estate on my screen and make it look exactly how I want for my users. I also love the report chart component, being able to pull in filtered reports. So those are some of my favorites. I look forward to seeing what you build with the hashtag lightning challenge and I'll see you tomorrow. Awesome admins.